document permissions are organized somewhat differently from other types of permissions. Standard document permissions have been created to aid you and can be found in the Staff User Roles list. The View List permission grants the ability to view the Documents list and the ability to view documents in any other location the user otherwise has access to. Anyone who wishes to view documents must have this permission, and it is included in each of the standard roles. The Sensitive Documents View Details permission allows the user to view encrypted documents and is included in the Admin All Documents setting and in the View Documents Sensitive standard roles. Only users who should be able to view and or manage sensitive documents should have this permission. There are five categories of document permissions. Aircraft, flight, which includes scheduled flights, completed flights, and passengers. Navigation, which includes airports and other waypoint types. Staff and staff currency. Within each of those categories, there are two fundamental permissions. Document Manage, which unlocks the various document permissions for a user for that category. Document Manage must be paired with the Document View Details and Document Download permissions. Document View Details allows a user to open a document to view it. Document View Details must be paired with the Document Download permission. Within the Staff and Staff Currency categories, there are three additional permissions. Document View Details Own, which allows a user to view their personal documents only. Staff Currency Documents Manage Own, which allows a user to manage their personal currency documents only, and Staff Documents Manage Own, which allows a user to manage their personal documents only. The categories Document Manage Permission unlocks the following document permissions within that category. Document Delete allows a user to delete documents. Document Download allows a user to preview and download a document. It must be paired with a Document View Details permission. Document Edit allows a user to change the name and description of the document. Document Link allows a user to link the document to records. Document Unlink allows a user to remove a link between a document and another record. And finally, Document Upload allows a user to upload a new document. Note that these permissions must be individually added in addition to the Document Manage permission. When assigning roles and permissions, there are some additional considerations. If a document from one category is linked to a different category, that document can be viewed or managed in each category with their respective permissions. So for instance, if a staff currency document is also linked to a scheduled or completed flight, Anyone with the Flight Documents View Details will also be able to view the currency document, even without the Staff Currency Documents View Details permission. However, if a document is only linked to a category you do not have permission to manage, you cannot open or manage that document. For example, someone with aircraft permissions can manage unlinked or aircraft linked documents only. And when linking from another page, the link search will only return results for unlinked documents and for ones already linked to the category you are authorized to manage. Only users with the permission Sensitive Documents View Details will be able to view encrypted documents. So for instance, if a user with the Flight Documents View Details permission but without the Sensitive Documents View Details permission will be able to see that a sensitive document is attached to a flight but they will not be able to view the document. If you need to set up custom roles, use the following as a guide. First assign the Documents Manage and or Documents View Details permissions within the desired category. Note. Depending on how many permissions you will be assigning, it may be easier to assign all permissions, then delete the unneeded ones. Next, assign the overall document delete, download, edit, link, unlink, upload, or view details permissions as desired. Finally, assign the view list permission. Note, if you wish the user to be able to view documents, be sure to pair the document view details and document download permissions with the category's document manage 
and or document view details permission.